Hello everyone and welcome back to Dog Sled Saga. And we are here with our team. We're currently uh, trying to earn as much as we can. We're making quite a bit of money, which is a very good thing because we're gonna need it when we go to uh, breed our dogs and switch them out, which will probably be at either at the very end of this season or next season. So we're going to be doing that, and uh, we definitely need to stock up before we get to that point. Also, it occurred to me, I was trying to mention what Pepper had for her skill, and yes, it is speed boost. I forgot to actually go back and mention that. I didn't want to check it in the middle of the uh, race. But we're going to go ahead. I think everybody is feeling well enough to uh, go back to training. Everybody's rested up and not tired anymore. So we can go ahead and put them back in training there. We'll continue on and we should be, yeah, okay, so we have what looks like a pretty easy race here. I think I'm gonna swap in Whiteout. Yeah, we'll go ahead and race this team. I don't know if it's a night race or not, but uh, this will be a good experience for Pepper and Tyrion. We can continue earning their uh, experience towards the middle specialty there, because once they hit level three, it'll be a lot easier for them to handle even the tough races. I feel like this uh, setup is going to give us like a good amount of time with each team. We're, we'll get to know them, we will have the chance to uh, bond with them, we'll get to see them in action, we'll get to train them. It's going to take us a while to get them up to speed, and we'll have a, a few races with them in their height, and then we're going to be switching out to a new team, so it shouldn't get stale, I don't think. It's going to stay fairly fresh and interesting. And uh, I, I don't think it, I, I think it'll be a good length of time. You guys will have to let me know what you think of this. But uh, to me, it feels like a pretty a pretty reasonable length here. And uh, I, th I think it'll balance out pretty well. I mean, we've only done it for a little bit here. Oh no, white out! No, come on. There we go. We still got it to her in time. I was worried we weren't going to. But uh, yeah, I feel this will give us the right amount of time with each team, but at the same time, it'll keep us rotating through so we never get like a super team that never has any uh, any issues or anything and that, that's always just like perfect. I'm going to feed her and we're going to immediately have a jump. Oh no, I didn't feed her fast enough either. Uh, I was trying to wait until we could go over a jump because she likes to get the fame, but I think I pushed it too far. Okay, no, we're not tangling right now. Not on my watch. I don't know that we're actually going to have another, um... Oh no, I don't know that we're actually going to have another one. No, I don't think we actually got fame for Whiteout. That's kind of sad because that's what she likes. I always try and get her some fame at some point, and she did get too fatigue. Although we got more fatigue capacity for Pepper, I saw. But I don't think we did get her any fame in the end. She she loves fame, and that can be a very fickle thing and very difficult to get. So let's go ahead. We'll make sure we put everyone in resting and uh, get everybody else back to training so that they don't uh, lose their skill in the meantime. Here we go. We should be able to put Tyrion and Pepper back here. And then everybody else will be ready to go uh, now. And we won't have to worry about them needing uh, further resting here. Let's go ahead. We'll make sure we pet all of our dogs. Give him a... No, it won't let me... See, I think the farther we expand the kennel, the more it seems to glitch. So it lets me pet some of the dogs, and then it just stops. So apparently I'm not allowed to give them a good pet for a job well done. Uh, that, that makes me sad. This is going to be a tough race. Holy moly. <laughs> Scarce restocks, lots of track foliage, lots of obstructions, treacherous snow quality in a five dog race. Holy moly. That, well, actually, honestly, this team probably could handle it. I just want to see. Let's put Whiteout in. They actually could. Uh, we'd have one high exhaustion and two moderate exhaustions. They probably could handle it reasonably well, but uh, I'm not going to uh, to have them handle it. I'm going to put, oh, Zephyr, what's up with you? You have middle specialty. Do you not have rapport with Sierra? Oh no, I don't I don't think so. You don't have enough rapport with the other. Oh, it's because we've had so many middle races. We need to race Zephyr more. So we're gonna have one medium exhaustion, but this is our, our best bet. So let's hope Zephyr can keep it up. He's he's maybe feeling a little distant from the team. He doesn't always get to race because he's so easy to keep happy. And that may not be a good thing, actually. Let's go ahead. Oh, we've got a tree on the way but we fed everybody before it got here. Let's make sure everybody stays in line. We, I saw some of them kind of uh, kind of slipping a little bit. All right, be ready, and we can chuck that up to Avalanche. Did we get everybody? 
I don't think we missed... Oh, I said I don't think we missed anyone, and then I missed Polaris twice. <laughs> That's fine. Um, oh, let's feed him as much as we can here. And we should get to a restock. Yeah, there we go. All right, here we go. Perfect timing, too, because now we have... Uh, we have some skills showing up. Unfortunately, we missed uh, Zephyrs, but we did get Avalanches activated once. Uh, I just wanted to feed them in order because I was worried they were starting to get a little bit tired. Okay, let's go. I'm very worried that we're going to hit an obstruction or something. Oh, no. There we go. There's an obstruction. I thought we were coming up on one soon, probably. But uh, here we go. All right. We're going to come up on a tree, I'm pretty sure, in a minute. And so I'll feed them after. Oh, feed you some. And that didn't help too much. All right. Oh, boy. We have an obstruction to jump quickly. No, we have dogs who didn't get food because of that. Darn it. Darn it. Darn it. Okay, there we go. Your skill is active. I'm going to try and feed. We have used our food entirely too fast. Uh-oh. This is... Okay, we, we made it to the end, though. We're all right. We made it with one treat to spare. We got uh, happiness for our victory-loving dogs. Everybody's doing pretty well, I think. We got two fatigue, two fatigue, and one fatigue. And we got rapport with Zephyr, which is exactly what we want to see. We want them to be happy with each other and uh, able to race well together. So let's make sure everybody goes into caretaking, though, who just raced, because we do have at least one fatigue on everybody. And then we can just put everybody else in training here. And I'll swap Whiteout in just so that so we can kind of keep all of our teams in order. That just makes it easier when uh, we go to, um, what am I doing? <laughs> that just makes it easier when we go to, uh, no, I, I keep clicking the wrong thing. Are you serious? Okay, you have to scroll down each time. That's kind of annoying. It doesn't mark your place, but it just kind of makes it easier when you go to swap dogs around. It, it makes it easier to figure out who's where. All right, and there we go. We'll go ahead, proceed. I'll give everybody a good pet again. I, I feel like, I, uh, now it won't let me. I feel like, I mean, it's, it's not like we don't pet them every day. I'm sure we do, but the specific happiness, uh, the, spe the specific pet that makes them happy, uh, I, we don't always go through every day because half the time it glitches anyway. But uh, I think, okay, we haven't had ni a night race, we haven't had placing up, and we haven't had fame. So overall, I think it's a good time for the B team to race if they can handle it. And it's perfect because it was a night race. I didn't even check, but uh, that worked out beautifully. So here we go. It seems fairly serene, and then it doesn't. So <laughs> I should have fed uh, White out just a little bit sooner there. All right. No, we missed. We missed. Ah! Oh boy. I think I, I missed. Oh, I did. Ha I did get Aria. Okay. I thought I hadn't for a second there. All right. And we have uh, we have Talon's flaw coming out there. But all right. We got to jump. I'm going to throw that up to White out. And no, we missed. Didn't we? We missed her. Oh my goodness. Oh, and we've got. Oh boy. Oh no. Okay, jump. We've got to get this to white out now because she's still tired. Okay, pull forward, pull forward, pull forward. We've got another jump coming up. Oh my goodness, this has gone to chaos so fast. All right, here we go. I think we got everybody back up and uh, and going again. <laughs> that was a little bit tense for a moment there. I'm trying to get the ordering back now, which I think I just did, so that was good. We're going to have another jump coming up soon, I'm pretty sure, too. All right, uh, we've got another tree at least. There's the jump. So I always try to feed White out on the jumps because that will give her fame, which is something she likes. There we are. And I think we're pretty good. Uh, we're very, very close to the end of the race. We're gonna, I'm gonna get past this and then I'm gonna feed them again. Oh boy. All right, uh, jump. <laughs> and that, oh, that worked perfectly. I didn't, I didn't plan for, for Tyrion to get that one, but that worked out. Okay, you can get that. There we go. And we're at the end of the race. I'm gonna feed Tyrion and we should be good. So I don't think we actually got too much extra fatigue. Whiteout took a little bit uh, because I kept missing her, but she only got one extra actually. And she got more rapport with Arya, which is exactly what we want to see because Arya has been a little bit on the low side when it comes to uh, rapport. So that's a good thing. Let's get everybody in caretaking and we should be good to go for the... Oh, I got to change off of racing. I was like, why isn't it letting me go? But there we are. We can put them back in uh, training. And then these two need to rest for one more day before we can add them back. 
So that went pretty well, honestly. I'm proud of how this team is doing. This is a clear weather one, so I think I'm gonna swap our other team in. Let's just go ahead, if we click everyone once, then we'll get them back. Oh, this is a simple race too, which is pretty good. Zephyr's always in the back because he has the uh, charge up uh, skill. So I don't mind having that for middle dogs because if you have a back middle dog, then it's it's not too terrible to achieve, but it's definitely significantly better in wheel dogs and it's terrible for lead dogs. Uh, I, I mean, I like that Avalanche has it, but it's it causes problems too. Okay, feed, okay, oh boy. I think, yeah, we still got it to him and can we get it to you? Yes, before you get tired, there we go. Alright, we're doing okay so far. I can't believe I pulled that off. I'm really not sure how I pulled that off. I'm trying to uh, have them go in reverse order here. Oh, we've got, we gotta feed Zephyr more. And I missed, and we're out of food. And we're, <laughs> we're having problems now. Oh boy, this is, this is great. Okay, you need to eat, eat, eat. Uh, you are still tired. All right, we gotta jump now. There's no t no, I just missed it by a tiny bit. Oh my goodness, everyone's tangled. Oh my goodness, no, 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 no. Okay, oh, we've got so many problems. We don't have any, we don't have any food. Oh my goodness, we're not gonna do very well this race, are we? I thought this was gonna be an easier one. Are you serious? Everybody, pull forward, pull forward. Okay, get to the, there we go. We finally hit a restock. All right, we've got it. No, do, are you serious? Stop tangling. No, everybody jump. Okay, we've got to feed. I've got to pull forward. Oh my goodness, I've never seen this happen like so dramatically before. They're, it's because they're all lagging behind. Okay, oh my goodness. No! Ah! <laughs> okay, I, th I've never had to do this before, but I'm giving up on the race. It's, it's too... That was, it was getting too bad. We were taking way too much fatigue. We got rapport. That's good. But yeah, this is also why we want to save up on money because every once in a while we have just an insane race. You still get a lot of the rewards for it, but uh, unfortunately that does mean that our victory dogs are not going to be uh, very happy right now. Let's get everybody else in resting because that was a lot of fatigue I, I don't think I, I don't know that I've ever had to forfeit a race like that before. It just I don't know. It got insane the one time we missed the jump and then we at the same time we missed the feeding. That was the biggest thing. None of them are gonna be ready yet. We gotta give it at least a couple days here. Is anybody ready now? Okay, Polaris is fine. Everybody else has one more fatigue. Thankfully, they're doing okay to the point where they're not going to get any deep fatigue, probably. But uh, still, you want to try and minimize the amount of even normal fatigue that they take. Because even though it won't make them unhappy, it's going to make it harder for them to race. And if you start getting behind where you have dogs that are fatigued and a bunch of tough races, then you either risk losing your money and uh, having to drop down leagues and then you can't take care of your dogs and you have to get rid of them and it just goes downhill, then uh, if you don't do that, and I just want to see an avalanche. Okay. Uh, I think we're going to have to try and race these guys because, yeah, everybody is uh, everybody's a little sad, so we're going to have to race them. But, yeah, then you start having any number of problems from that, and so it just does not... It doesn't work out. You really have to minimize the fatigue because if it if you if you let it go unchecked for too long, then it, it gets out of hand very very rapidly. Uh, it doesn't take long for that to uh, to become a problem, and so sometimes it's better just to forfeit the race and uh, take that loss. You kind of have to just cut your losses sometimes. I think we got them up to maximum there. I think there's only like five treats you can feed them, and when they they're when they're glowing that really bright blue and it's blinking, then that's when you've had enough. Oh, she still managed to catch it. I thought she wasn't going to for a sec. But I'm pretty sure that's when uh, they're maximum charged up. But nevertheless, it, it doesn't hurt to, to feed them <laughs> as much as you can there unless you're, unless you're like really uh, pressed for food, which can happen on some of the low restock races. I don't like low restocks. I think that's probably the biggest factor that... Um, that makes a race hard, and that was what caused us so many problems last time, was having low restock in combination with that all. Uh, with everything else, we just didn't have the ability to keep up with feeding our dogs, and that came back to bite us in the butt. <laughs> there we go. Alright, let's 
Oh no, 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 I'm not doing this again. <laughs> not again. <laughs> okay, I'm glad these guys recovered quickly enough for us to be able to race one more time because that'll make sure most of them stay happy. Oh, uh, his is just too proud. So too proud is actually my ideal fault for them because if you can keep track of the other dogs, if you have a method of feeding them, then you can still tell when they're getting tired. It just isn't always easy to see. Uh, and you kind of just have to, to know. But if you're, if you're keeping track, then uh, it, it's not too terrible. So like that, where he was flashing there, I'm pretty sure he was max charged up. I, I'm pretty sure that was the maximum, when it's that really fast blinking. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's what that is. I think there is a certain point where you, you can't feed them any more treats. You still can, but it doesn't do anything, I think. And we made it into first, so that was significantly better than our, our other race there, and that should satisfy our victory-loving dogs. Only one fatigue on everybody. We're losing rapport with Aria, but that's fine because she's on the other team. And they're probably not going to need to race together. The goal is to avoid having them race together, pretty much. So let's go back to training, and we'll put Zephyr on our training team. Go ahead, we'll pet all the dogs, make sure we say hello to them. And uh, then continue on. We, we can get a, another race or two in before the episode is up. Do we have... That's a clear race. They're all clear races, so Talon might not be super happy. Uh, the weather ones are definitely one of the most difficult conditions to meet, that's for sure. Oh boy, this is going to be a little bit of a trickier one, too. I'm going to try and race B-team if I can. <laughs> Which I think I actually can. It looks like they're going to be okay. I, I'm going to try it because I want to make sure that we keep Whiteout and Arya's uh, favorite up as well. We can't do much about Talon, but whenever we can, uh, we want to be racing these guys so we can keep the others up. And here we go. So it's going to be a tough one, but it looked like there were enough restocks to make it feasible. It's just going to be the... Yeah, because there's a restock right there. It's just going to be the foliage that's going to be a bit of a problem. There's, there's too many trees... A lot of the time they are half trees like that, which is significantly easier to uh, to deal with. But nevertheless, they're still kind of they're they're still tricky. Yeah, right here we go. Next time we have a jump, which should be soon. Do not tangle. Um, I'm I'm going for it. Oh no! I did it right at the last second. I I, I should have waited just like a moment longer, and we would have been able to feed her over the jump and get some fame. Normally, I mean, like, we're, we're pretty much at the point where fame doesn't matter to us. Like, we already have all the sponsorships we're going to be able to get. Oh, no! Okay, well, her, her ability let her recover. But, oh, because she's, because she's constantly hungry, we have to just constantly feed her. So you kind of can uh, do damage control with that a bit. It's just, it's harder it, it, it's tough. <laughs> Alright, we have to jump. We gotta jump. Did Tyrion... No, Tyrion's okay. Alright, we don't have anybody who, who's down currently. But you can feed them, you just have to really feed... Basically spam feed them, and that's not always possible. And so you kind of just have to accept that they're gonna take uh, exhaustion. And uh, it could be kind of bad. Alright, where is the last team? We've got one more. That speed boost is well-timed, so that's a good thing. I'm gonna wait until we're past this tree and then feed everyone again. I feel like I went a little too far. Nope, I didn't. We were okay. I was worried I wasn't gonna actually get it to white out there. And you are tired and need food. Alright, I think we're okay. I see the first place team now, so I think we've got a good chance of making it. Uh-oh. Well, actually, that's not too bad. <laughs> uh, thankfully, Talon has a good fault because we do see it quite often due to his uh, rather, rather picky um, weather condition that he prefers. So let's go ahead and look through. We got three fatigue for Arya because her fault came out. Her fault is one of the worst ones, unfortunately. We're going to try and breed that out. But uh, overall, that wasn't too bad. So I think we have time for one more race. We're going to go ahead and try and get that in here. And uh, I'll put all of these guys in caretaking. And then all the others in training. We'll probably race A-Team this next one if we can, just because they haven't raced uh, in a little bit here. And unfortunately, I think Avalanche's fault is like the worst one. <laughs> so we kind of really have... Oops, Arya needs to rest more. We really need to be careful with uh, his fault there. 
we do not want that showing up in the races. It causes terrible, terrible damage, which is really bad when he's on our most experienced team because he can basically completely on on a, on a race with scarce restocks. That's that can be a good game. That can be game over. <laughs> All right, this is going to be a tough one. Please tell me that if I swap out here. He's not... Okay, he's, he has low exhaustion. Zephyr, you're supposed to be in the back. Please tell me he doesn't... Okay, he he's still good. So if we race now, we'll be fine. And his favorite thing is perfect catches. So as long as we get him at least one perfect catch, that's honestly not too bad. That's probably the easiest one to achieve because you usually get at least one perfect catch per race. Um, placing up is also not too bad. But... Uh, yeah, that's definitely one of the easier ones you can get, and I say that, and then <laughs> I say that, and then we don't have a, a perfect catch on that first time. But it's usually not too bad. Okay, I'm gonna feed all my other ones to. Oh no. Okay, we'll feed quite a bit to you. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, do not tangle. Do not tangle. We got to got to feed everyone now. Okay, I got a little behind. That was stupid. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> okay, oh, we're gonna take fatigue there. Alright, oh no! Stupid tree! Oh my goodness. Okay, we made it. We made it before she took any more, though. So, that was good. I'm going to try and feed. I gotta feed to you guys. And you can still get fed there. Alright, you need one. And now we gotta jump. I'm going to feed all the way across, and then you guys need to pull forward. No, 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 not again. Once once you start tangling, that's when it goes downhill. It might be time to switch to the new rope sponsorship pretty soon, um, because I definitely think it's starting to be a bit of a problem. I think we got, we got a couple. Okay, we can feed you twice, too. Pull forward. <laughs> all right, we need a restock right about now. All of our dogs are, are on, um... All of our dog skills activated. Well, all the, the speed boost ones activated at the same time. Okay, we have to jump. I'm sorry. We took some fatigue there. I think it's it's normal to take a little bit extra sometimes in the really tough races, but it doesn't mean it can't be a problem. Oh, no. Really? Already? We're out of food already? This is, ah, this is tough, you guys. <laughs> okay, here we go. We still might... No, we're barely not going to make it, I think, is what what's going to happen here. Okay, come on. Can we get it to you before... Oh, no. No, 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 no. Jump, jump, jump. Quickly, quickly, quickly. <laughs> All right, let's pull forward, pull forward. Do not tangle. All right, there we go. And there we go. That was not a there we go. That was a miss. All right, you need more food. Feed, 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 feed. I did this because there's... Like, at this point, we, we wouldn't have had enough to feed everybody anyway. Okay, oh, come on. We're at, the, we're at the end. We can do this, I think. We made it. We made it. That was a little bit of a risk, but we were close, and I, I figured we were either coming up on a restock or we were going to hit the end there. All right. So one, one fatigue. We got more fatigue capacity, which is good. Two fatigue, three fatigue, and three fatigue. That's not terrible. That's actually a lot better than I thought we were going to do. But we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here for today because it is about that time again. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay. Over and out.